Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Welcome to Let's Play System Shock 2 with Bill. It says right at the beginning, we've just watched the intro video, and we're about to head into the UNN Recruitment Center. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train to grab step into the grab shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Alright, we're going to skip basic training and advanced training and head right to our career selection. We're going to choose Navy because I was in the Navy. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you... Alright, we're going to choose the postings with the most new skills, because buying new skills is more expensive than upgrading the skills you already have. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment.
The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year-long cruises. So you better not be afraid of a tussle. Modify your strength. The UNN Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain the ship's core energy systems. There's some heavy lifting involved, sailor, but you'll learn your way around the high-tech equipment. Repair and strength. The UNN Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. I'm going to take hack and strength. Here too. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. While maybe not as respected as the Marines facility at Fort Bush, there's a lot to be learned here. Two standard weapons. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. On maintenance. The UNN Carfax is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. To Cyber Affinity. I think we're going to take maintenance. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce is... That's year two. Year three. And a robot doing the Macarena. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero-g training. A year at the Yamamoto space station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. To agility. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros? There's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons? The 21.2% mortality rate. Endurance. And research. The Navy's Marie Curie Research Facility on Aquinas IV is currently conducting research on a new strain of space-borne virus that killed 220,000 citizens of New Atlanta. To lift the quarantine, we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro nanite shielding. Right, we're gonna take research. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to. Move! Take cover! I don't think we can actually die here, but we'll move along anyway. Great. Gotta change the access codes out of Cryo A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Imminent. This power cell is dead. 
there should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Uh-huh. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Security access compromised. Security access compromised. I got a brown booster, which gives us some more strength, but it gives us three more equipment slots. And since I'm a pack rat, I'll take all the equipment slots I can get. Standard weapon, no energy, and no heavy. And hack, no repair. Well, I can take some more strength and give me some more slots. That's what I'll do. And I'm not going to do Psy at all. It's kind of like being a magic user. Not really what I play a sci fi game for. This is a Psyamp, which is what the OSA guys use, and if you're going to spend points on those skills, you need that to actually cast any of the abilities. Those items over there, if you were a Psy guy, you could pull those items to you. You find a few of those on every level that there's no way to reach them other than with the Psy abilities. Lots of tough and tends to uh, pull up around you. Can somebody let me? I can't find my car. Please let me out of here. I see dead people. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Dr. Pepper. We seek. We seek. Not enough hack skill. Hurry. 
Our first research item. Our new flesh. Are we your more Dr. Pepper? Now we're gonna search these corpses like a ghoul. Drop this Psy Hypo since uh, I never plan on taking Psy skills. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. It's essentially the cyborg reconstruction units from the first game. That's where you pop up if you die. If you die on a level that doesn't have one, then you get kicked out and have to load a save. Let's bring up the mini map. There's a big robot in there. the ladder down. I need to go down there to get the power working to get the elevators online. Remember Citadel. It's a little reminder of System Shock 1. A lot of alcohol in this game. She's not very nice. More exploding stuff. Damn. The power adage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. 
the one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. I researched that hybrid organ. And it's going to give us a 25% bonus to any damage done to hybrids. So we will drop that. It makes a satisfying squishy sound when it hits. Charger. Sci Hypo might have gonna pick it up. Or alcohol. Power charger also powers up any items you're carrying, so powered up the power cell and the brawn booster. And if I had any weapons that used energy, it would power those as well. out these turrets because that will kill me otherwise. Now yeah, the hybrids give us uh Plenty of warning there around. Monkey. We do not welcome you.
my pack. Too bad we can't charge from here. Enough on that one. Research software. came from the many are strong Enough heck. Access needed. Let's listen to some of these uh, emails. These missions should have been scrubbed before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on Deck 1. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this will cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display, it was a protest. to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. Nice, you just gave them all to me now, and I'd be a lot more powerful. But that's not how the game works. Alright, we're gonna listen to the rest of these. with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shafts shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau Ceti. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you can see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da I wonder what he brought back. Why is it that no one listens to me? 
the security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? And we have the problem we have today. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? That's it for our emails from that area. And we'll save it here.